Sample question number 10. Various elongations are produced when a different objects are attached to a spring. The graph below represents the relationship between the object mass and the elongation of the spring. So mass versus elongation, the graph has been represented over here. So along with the y axis, it's representing the mass in kg along with x axis, the length in meter. It's basically the elongation, how the spring is getting stretched out as the increase in the mass. So question is, what is the energy stored in the spring when the elongation is 1.15 meter? It means when the elongation, when the string uh, like in a, like spring is stretched for the distance of 1.15 meter at that moment, what is the or how much energy is stored in the string? So here, let me tell you the energy stored in the string. So that's, you know, what we say elastic potential energy. So elastic potential energy is basically half times k x square. Now what is actually the k? k is the spring constant and x square here is going to be the distance or the length with which it got stretched. In our case, 1.15 meter. So, but here I need to understand, so it's uh, directly, but I can't use the directly this formula because I don't know what is the value of K. I need to calculate what is the spring constant first. Now to calculate the spring constant, so we need to do some arrangement because this is what the energy stored in the spring. So let's calculate the spring constant. I can relate whatever the graph which has been represented here. What actually it's saying is like when, uh, mass was zero, the elongation of the spring was zero. So suppose I can represent everything in terms of this here itself. Let's take assume that a spring is attached initially uh, to uh, some fixed object and this is the length of actual length of the spring assume. Okay. Now what actually happening now and let's consider this actual length of the spring as Li, the initial length. Now what happens here, so when you attached a certain mass to the spring, so definitely spring will be get stretched out. And because this stretching is happened because of the mass you applied at the end of the spring. So that is what the vertical stretch what we are talking about. Now, because of this mass, definitely the length of the spring got increased. It means what is the length? Let's take the stretch is going to be length of the stretched spring LS. Let's talk about now, how do I calculate the spring constant here? If you observe carefully, if I'm looking at this point, what I can do here is like this object is hanging vertically, hanging vertically with, at the end of the spring. And definitely what are the forces acting on this one? The forces which is acting on this object, if I'm representing in terms of free body diagram of this. So which are the forces acting on it? There are two forces acting on this uh, object, like having the mass M. So one is called the weight force. That's what we represent as an FW and its value is going to be mass times the acceleration due to gravity. And another one is called the, uh, like, you know, force, a spring force. That is what we can say, uh, you know, pulling force. That is the force which is exerted by the spring. So according to the Hooke's law, you might be knowing the hook slides basically deals about like what is the restoring force created in the spring to pull that object towards its initial position. So why? Because initial length of the object of the spring was this much. And because of the mass, it got in the, because of the mass, the length of the spring got increased by this value. And if I'm representing this as let's take del L change in the length. So this much is the change in the length. So now I, how do I represent what is that uh, restoring force? A restoring force according to the Hooke's law that is given as I can let me just represent for the notation FR. Restoring force is basically the spring constant K times the change in the length. That is sometimes we represent as delta X, sometimes we represent that as delta Y or anything. It's simply just a change in the length, the del L I'm in our case we are representing. As this object has to be uh, like you know hanging vertically it means to stay at this point the both of the forces which are acting on the opposite direction they must be equal in another word some of the forces which are acting along the y-axis must be equal to zero so then only the object can stay in so when i'm saying some of the forces must be equal to zero then 
what is the net force acting how can how i can represent in terms of uh, restoring force and the uh, this one weight force so i can write it here as re restoring force minus the weight force must be equal to zero this is total basically the sum of the forces so from this one i can write it as the restoring force fr is equals to uh, like fw so from this one we know that fr is basically k times the del l is equals to the mass times acceleration due to gravity now what actually the uh, length what is the stretched in the length i can refer the diagram to solve it so what is going to be the stretched in the length suppose if the mass if you have attached is going to be 2 kg in that case your change in the length is going to be 0.4 meter you can use any of the point if your mass attached is going to be 4 kg the change in the length is going to be 0.8 meter this is how you read the graph you can use any value so if you are using the mass as 2 kg in that case you have to use the length here as uh, 0.4 if you are using the mass as 4 kg you will be using the length as 0.8 in either case you're gonna get the same answer even though you can also use that when you are talking about the length as 1.6 in that case you can use the mass as it either case you're gonna get the same answer so let's solve for k first k can be written as mg divided by change in the length change in the length of the spring due to the mass so substitute their values m is gonna be let me talk about this assume that like i'm talking about the mass at the mass as uh, let's take 2 kg at that moment so delta s change in the length is going to be 0.4 and i know the acceleration due to gravity substitute their values what we're going to get 2 times 9.8 over 0.4 so with this what you're going to get 2 times 9.8 over 0.4 let me just do with this so uh, 2 times 9.8 over 0.4 that gonna give you a value here as 49 the value of k here it's gonna be 49 that is the spring constant and what is the unit because mass times g that's some um, mass times acceleration due to gravity it's force force is in newton and the distance in meter so newton meter so this is the spring constant now this spring constant i have to use to calculate the energy stored and as i mentioned energy stored in the spring we represent with this value e is equals to half of kx square now it's going to be simple so let me just write it over here so e energy stored in the spring it can be written as now it's half of k value i know that 49 now what is the value of x because we are asked they are asking us like what is the energy stored in the spring when the length is 1.15 meter so this is the now change in the x this is basically you know the delta l so that is or the this can also be written as the x change in the length so this is what i have to represent now that's the uh, change increase in the length of the sp uh, spring because of the mass so that's multiplied by 1.15 square and substitute in a calculator it's basically a calculation a simple calculation 49 by 2 times 1.15 square that gonna give you like 32.40125 something joules energy we measure in terms of joules they are saying us round your answer to nearest tenth so this i can simply say this further i can just simply say this energy in terms of nearest tenth can be written as 32.4 joules 32.4 4 joules this is the right answer all right so this is how we solve the energy elongation so if you know the spring constant it's very simple and straightforward because here spring constant was not given to us we have to solve it first and then we have to make use of the formula energy stored in the spring and that's it